In this episode, we are learning about Airstream awnings and how they work, how to set them up, how to take care of them, and put them away. This is the Airstream awning stick, the infamous Airstream awning stick. Now, some people are really confused by the awning. They're very simple, especially if you follow these steps. They've been using the same design for 50 years, and they're fantastic. Now, the new electric awnings have actually been having some problems, and so I'm a huge fan of the older ones that have no buttons or electricity or anything to go wrong. Let me show you how it works. Step one, we remove this little wheel. This wheel is a lock to keep the awning in place while we're traveling. We don't want it flying out and hitting a tree or a semi or something. So there's three locks. There's lock one. Here's lock two. This safety hook here. Here is lock three. Now on lock three you have to be very careful. Even though these often have a protective little thing on them, you can scratch your airstream like crazy if you're not careful. Some people get a footstool and reach up and do it. You can just go like this, like a rotary phone, like a dial phone, one little loop at a time. This one I don't end up tightening all the way because it makes it difficult to get it off. Once that's loose, it will flip out of the way. And now our awning is free to be deployed. These awnings have a very strong spring mechanism in them. And that's what keeps them so tight on the trailer. We hook our little hook in there and just pull. Try to keep it moving, keep the momentum. But you don't need to yank on it or do anything crazy. Now that the awning is out, we need to get it set up with our end bars over here. That's probably not the technical term, but that's what I'm calling them. Right here, these come out and connect right in there. Let me show you that on the other side too. Now I have to hold on to this, otherwise it's gonna the spring is gonna want to pull itself up. So hang on to this. You can hold it here, have an assistant hold that, or you can just hold it here. Pull this up, put the little hook right in there. Now it's still not quite holding itself. If I let go, it's going to start pulling up. Now here's the only tricky part about this. Throughout this whole awning, we've got these little spring-loaded pins in here. Here's one right here. And then there are detents in this. I'll show you in a second but those pins pop into the little detents and hold this tension where we need it. So what I need to do, this is the tricky part. Once you do this, everything else is easy. This is spring loaded. I need to pull this, get my pin clicked in, and then this side will be locked. Here we go. There, that just clicked in. Let's go do it on the other side. What this is gonna do is prevent this from just rolling up on itself. It's gonna lock it in place, and then we'll adjust the height. So once again, let me show you right here. Right here you can see our spring tension right there. We're going to pull this in until this pin clicks in. So here we go. Popped right in. That's it. The rest is easy. Now we're going to extend the awning to an upward position. To do that I'm going to push on the main body and pull out on my pin here and it'll click into place. Here you can see one of the detent positions. Now I'm going to go do the same thing on the other side. We've got about three or four more clicks to push this out, but I don't want to extend them all on one side at once. That'll make it so crooked and add a lot of tension. So you never want these to be more than one click away from each other. So let's go over here. So now we can put this. Once again, I'll remove tension here. Pull the spring. There's position one. Actually, that's position one. Position two. Let's do another one. We're getting a little closer. Then we even it out over here. Now both are on position three here. And that looks good, but there's a problem. Check this out. When I open the door, it's going to rub right here. And a lot of trailers, even this one, you can even see a little rub line where it's going to rub your awning and it's going to wear it out. You don't want that. These awnings are actually umbrella material and they're rainproof too so when it's raining you can stay under here and you won't get wet. So 
in order to make it not rub, we have to go another click higher. Now, I could do the same thing on the other one, but here's a little strategy. I'm going to leave these off. We're in position four here, position three there. So it actually has a slight tilt to it. So if it's raining, that's going to allow the rain to drip off of this corner instead of just dripping straight down everywhere here. We've been in the rain with a lot of friends before and we were able to have dinner out here, hang out while it was pouring rain and the rain was just trickling off that corner. If there's no rain, you can go ahead and set this to position four as well. And then it's even all the way across. To get this out of the way, you just roll it up. And hopefully you're taller than me and tuck it right in there. This is your awning. This is great for keeping sun off the trailer. It will keep it cooler to keep, you know, without the awning, if the sun's beating on this, it's cooking on the inside. This keeps a nice, cool atmosphere and it's fun to hang out with and these awnings just look awesome. The big caveat here is if it starts to get windy, your awning's gonna start making noise. It's gonna start blowing around and these awnings are connected directly to your airstream. Same with up there. So there's just a few contact points. And if these are just wiggling around with crazy, you can see just a little bit of tension is gonna make that work over time and dent the panels. So wind is your enemy with these awnings. So if it starts to get windy, take down your main awning. Let's go take a look at the other two awnings and how to deploy them. Now if you're lucky, your Airstream came with a full awning package. That's like a $2,500 to $3,000 upgrade and we think it is totally worth it. To open the rear awning, it's really simple. It's a lot smaller, there's no crazy detent pins or anything. You just put these little sticks right in there. And it's set. Once again, you roll this little guy up. Got some Velcro in there to hold it. Super cute, super functional, keeps the heat out of your back window. Now here's our last awning. We've got the window all the way open. Let's see if the awning still reaches. This is my favorite awning, super easy setup. Done. And that is just enough to protect this whole side. It keeps rain out of the windows, it keeps sun off of the side, and with the full awnings around, your trailer is going to be 10 to 15 degrees cooler inside. It makes a huge difference. So let me show you how to put the awnings away. It's really the reverse of what we did, but it's worth mentioning because someone's going to be watching this because they're stuck because they forgot how to do it. And that's okay. That's what YouTube's for. These I always put on the inside so it doesn't rattle out when we're traveling. Now let's go put the big boy away. If you're a big nerd, and we almost did this, we're totally nerdy enough, we just didn't have time. You can buy matching Zip D little lawn chairs that match your awning. They are so cool. They're like a hundred bucks each, but super cool in the Airstream crowds. All right, so we're on position four. Let's take it down to position three. I'm gonna pull this out, gently lower it. We're in position three. Now we're gonna take this from position four to position two, because remember, we can have a mismatch. With three, even with over there, down to two. Now we come over here, and we take it three, down to one. And here's our final one. We want it to end in this detent pin. A lot of people let it slip past, and that actually makes it difficult to secure the lock at the end. That's done. Now we're ready to pop these guys out. Pull this pin down. It will release the tension. 
Now this is really, you gotta be careful here. If I just let go, this is a pendulum and it's gonna swing and dent my airstream when this hits it. So be very careful to hold on tight to these when putting them away. Don't let them just swing around. In position one, pull my pin. And now the spring tension on this wants to start rolling it up if I let go. So I've got to hold, hold the awning. I'm making it overly detailed. It's not this hard, but I want to give you all the tips so you can have success. It really is simpler than it sounds to speak about. And then one cool thing is if this had pine needles or something on it, they're all going to come off right here and you can kind of brush it as it comes off. So now we're letting our spring loaded awning do its trick. And then this was taught to me by the Airstream dealer. When you're in the last six inches, let the spring take it all the way. Don't fight it. It'll help it seal up nice and tight. That was probably a little bit tight. Get a little closer than that. But now it's all tidied up. One note of caution. If it's been raining and your awning is all soaking wet and you pack it up to go, make sure you loose, you pull it back out and you air it out when you get to your next spot. You don't want a moldy, mildewy, old, wet uh, awning rolled up in there for months on end. So keep that aired out. So now we just need to lock it up so it doesn't swing out when we go driving down the road. Step one, pretty simple. And here's a little trick. These aren't quite parallel right here, and that always happens. If you give this a little push, it'll line it right up perfectly with that, and it'll be a piece of cake to get that in. Now, what's not a piece of cake is rotating this without kicking it out. Now remember we've got the spring tension of the roll holding this up. So you'd, in order for this to fly out, you'd have to fight the spring tension. Uh, you'd also have to overcome this hook. And so this one, in my opinion, does not need to be deathly tight. I'm going to still get it decent in there, but not as tight as it could be. And that's getting pretty close. Okay, that's close. If I tighten it too much, it's going to be a pain to get out, and that's when I run the risk of scratching my airstream. And then the final one, I could use the hook to do it, but it's much easier to just step up into the doorway, push these even here, slide it right in. And that one I'll get nice and tight because it's easy to unhook by hand. And this isn't going anywhere. I don't have to worry about it flinging out and hitting anything. That's how the awnings work. I love the Airstream awnings. Once you've done it a couple times, it's super simple. It goes really quick. It, it looks more complicated than it really is, the way I described it, but I want you to have all the little tips and tricks for when you get your awning. If you learned something from this video and you benefited and it will save you money down the road, consider supporting us on Patreon.com. For three bucks a month, you can make a big impact to us to help us be able to keep making more videos like this.